So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> Whoops! See some ruins up ahead. Wait here, I'll go take a look. <clears throat> oh, Victor, you still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. Yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot toddle now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. They just Hard to do that in a chat room, talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Hmm. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Okay, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is gonna erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Oh, let's go, 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 go! Made it! Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just... Keep it slow, keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. No, turn into it. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, 
What were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? There's a path at the mouth of that stream up there. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. I got mud in my mouth. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. Do it. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs>
Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa, and they figured all that out. We'll be right back. Hey, where are you going, man? Uh, checking something out. <laughs> all right, all done. So, as I was saying, and they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. Still taking a long time. Oh shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just wait for approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. So how long we posted? Yeah. It's all orders come in. Any news from the other sites? Nothing yet. Can we call them and let them know we're ready? Orders are to sit tight, so we sit tight. Waste of resources. That's what means are. I'll get the whole thing done in half the time. Considering the last time you handled explosives, you nearly blew up everyone in the street. I'd say it's a good thing you're not in charge. Half the time, boy. I'll be sure to run that by Nadine. Hmm? What's that?
Nothing here. Where the hell did he go?
Where'd you go?
Okay. I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? One down, one to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Slip and slide. <laughs> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of look. Shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> 